feds made another disturbing discovery. It was concerning a second human smuggling operation in our metro in just three weeks. Yeah, the local police and federal investigators uncovered what was going on inside an Albuquerque apartment recently. Brianna Wilson went to that neighborhood, and Brianna, you talked to a man who says he's new to the neighborhood and couldn't believe what authorities found. That's right. So this southeast Albuquerque neighborhood near central in Louisiana doesn't have the best reputation for safety. This man told me he's only been here for a week and he's already become the victim of multiple crimes himself, but he's still in shock and disgusted to learn what was happening right next door. I've been here about a week, a little over a week. Brian Carr has not lived in this southeast Albuquerque neighborhood for long. But it has been long enough for him to come to one conclusion. It's a crazy neighborhood. My house has been broken into. I'd lost stuff, packages off the porch, and then Homeland Security and every SWAT officer on the planet here just the other day. This past Friday, special agents with Homeland Security rescued three kidnapping victims, 58 undocumented non-citizens, 48 of whom were inside a single apartment on Palomas Drive. They also arrested two suspects for human smuggling and hostage taking. That's completely surprising. I only ever saw more than the same four people, I think, in the first four or five days I was here. I never saw that kind of volume of people anywhere. Carr says he watched the SWAT teams come and go, but only learned what really happened this morning. He does believe he saw the kidnapping victims at one point. The mother and the, and the kids, they just looked like normal coming and going during the day type family. I wouldn't even have thought know twice about the situation they were in at all. HSI says a woman in Arizona paid $30,000 to have her sister and two nieces, ages five and nine, smuggled into the United States from Guatemala. But the smugglers wanted more and demanded an extra 6000 to let them go. I didn't notice anything to set me off to think there was some sort of hazard or danger nearby, let alone people that were kidnapped and, and being trafficked for God's sake. Agents say their search for the kidnapping victims is what led them to the dozens of other migrants from Mexico and Guatemala, as well as nearly $47,000 in cash, ledgers, a gun, and a loaded magazine. Yeah, it's just a shame, but it's, it doesn't, I'm not overly terrified to be in the neighborhood, if you're asking that. I, I've been all over the world, but just makes them be far more aware of what's going on, that's for sure. Now, federal investigators were unavailable today to give further comment on this case, as well as the one from three weeks ago on the west side, where they found 29 migrants in poor living conditions. They did confirm, however, human smuggling is a growing problem in Albuquerque, one that we plan to follow closely. Back to you. Yeah.